so last week I painted this and as you can see I overspun it see how it's all faded here and the cells are pretty big I I just overspun it so I'm going to pour over it's nice and dry I was trying to get a space with negative space to put a gnome on because somebody ordered one of my water slides so I'm going to try to not use too much pillow so when you put too much pillow on and then you have to um, spin it you can really lose your design I mean that's that's normal but if I don't use too much pillow I might not have to spin it too much and I can keep my design okay so I'm going to use white cell activator that I have mixed with a teaspoon of uh, golden interference gold so it's just golden interference gold just a teaspoon or less like a, like less than a teaspoon mixed with Amer um, Australian Floetrol and uh, titanium white I like to put that interference gold in there I don't know why actually gold in itself isn't really that great for cell activators so I don't even know how I started doing that all right so this is mermaid from this little piggy so I'm going to try to keep everything over to the side, but then bring it up. Kind of like, um, just kind of drag it up this way. Not too much. I just want a little bit of paint on here because this lady ordered a gnome. And she wants it to be mostly blue. I'll show you the gnome. Let me wipe my hands off. She ordered this gnome. Okay. And I made her one. I just don't like the look of the whole thing. So. I mean, I have one I already made. I don't like it even though she paid me for it and I was leaving it here to cure, I thought I would make another one and see if she likes it better. And then she can have an option. That's exactly why I don't do custom work. I just like to make stuff and if somebody likes it, they can buy it. I'm not really that attached. I have one goal in selling my paints, my paintings, and that's just so I can get enough money to pay for the studio trailer and um, buy more pigments. Those are my goals. So this is an Arteza color, just a purple um, pearl. But this is an, another Arteza color. And the reason I'm using Arteza, which I never do, is because I've been painting rocks. And so I had my cheaper paints out. So this is, this one right here is Phalo. Um, I don't remember which Arteza that is, and that's Mermaid. I've never actually used very many Artezas in my paintings, actually ever, but I just got them because they were, um, you can get a whole kit of them, a whole box of them fairly cheap. So, but today, sure enough, I'm using Arteza. This one is called what's this? Arteza Electric Blue. And I have this little piggy. I'm pretty sure this little piggy is frost, and I probably should write that down. Because I have frost right here, and I did just mix it. So I'm pretty sure this is frost. I don't know why I didn't write on it. But I love frost. Look at that. Look how pretty that is.
frost is gorgeous. So I want to put some Flaminga, which I had previously mixed up. It's been so long since I painted. I've been doing those rocks forever. So I'm just going to swipe. That's why I'm making such a big mess. This is just a swipe. I just want a little bit of color to come up here. And Crescendo. I love Crescendo. And I previously mixed this up also. Like a couple weeks ago when I was painting. And it lasted really well. I don't mix a whole container. Usually. Of the piggies. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. This with unicorn. And I don't know why. Look at that. I don't know why I didn't mix up any unicorn. I just, well, I do know. I was on the phone with Pam, and I wasn't thinking clearly. So it's Pam's fault there's no unicorn. So this is Twinkle. Twinkle is so pretty. I like to have a lot of Twinkle. A lot of um, glisten or twinkle for the if I'm trying to do a really light colored painting because you can't go wrong with interference colors look okay now I'm going to have to use some more tube paint on top just gloop it on there Now, if I was blooming it, this would be a whole different story. But I'm seriously just swiping this. And I had to put my painting up on a level board um, so that it wouldn't run off because I waste so much paint using an unlevel board, uh, unlevel surface to paint with. Okay. I have to control myself here. So I really like the consistency of this pillow mixed with, um, or this cell activator mixed with the golden. It's really weird. Maybe you guys should try it if you have any golden interference white or interference gold. Put that in your white cell activator and see if you like it. Watch. See how it really sells up really well. And since my objective isn't really to get a lot of color on this canvas, but you know enough, I'm doing good. See those cells? And I like the glass look of them. It's like you can look through them and see the color below the twinkle. It's pretty cool. So I want, I want to bring up some, some of this has to come up here for me. That's what I want to do. And <clears throat> I need to find my, smaller tools. So it's, it's like I've been gone from this area so long that I don't know where anything is. It's really odd. Oh, I can use the tip of this.
No, I don't know what I'm doing. Because I don't really like this look when the ladies are doing it on YouTube. I mean, it's pretty cool, but it's nothing I... So I'm not, I've not practiced it. But I do know that in this case, this is what I would like to have happen. I'd like for some of these cells to come up here. Okay, now I'm going to try to spin it so that most of the paint comes this way and less paint goes up that way. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see if I can pull it off. This is not my big spinner, so I'm a little nervous. I can move it over there if this isn't going to work. And I put up a little shield so I can't get paint everywhere. Let me see if I can pick this up. It's a lot more boring than those really fast... Um, TikTok videos, huh? Here, I just cut, catch it in the cup. Ooh, that's so pretty. So yeah, see, I don't like that. I'm not good at it because I haven't practiced it. Um, I think a little bit more paint could come this direction. So I just want to put the gnome in there. And I want some of my, um, the, the gnome transfer is clear. So I want some of the paint to be seen through him. I just didn't want it to take over the whole painting. Oh, that's looking good right there. Oh, that's pretty. See, I'm not getting any coverage here. Oh, I think that. If you have dry edges, the paint's not likely to go to those edges on its own. It pretty much goes where the paint already is, which is fine. I'm doing something specific here, not... Exactly. Oh, that's pretty. That's going to be, I think that's going to be perfect for what I'm doing. Can I have a little bit of purple here? I don't know what that is. Hold on. I'll just paint. Okay, I like that. Now, if nothing sinks, it's going to be good. This is going to be really good. I like that a lot. That will be perfect because all I, all I want is a little bit of paint on a canvas so that I can put the gnome in there. Probably I would put it like this. Oops. Like this. And then you would see my painting under him, and you can still see the cute little gnome somebody else painted, and it would just enhance the paper, the, the look. I don't think I would do it like this because that would mess with him too much. Okay, I'll show you the other one I did. But I don't want to get any paint on it. So here's the other one I did. It's really cute, but I think I got too much paint on him and I put the gnome too high. Do you see that? Anyway. And then tonight, 
I did this one already. So I did this one first. And uh, it's still wet, so I just did it. So this might work. But I was trying to get more negative space. So I'm kind of happy with that. What do you guys think for negative space?